how are you? Today we're going to install the Windows Phone 8 emulator inside the virtual machine. We will be using the VMware player to create a virtual machine and we're going to install Windows 8 as operating system on the virtual machine. We're going to tweak the configuration a little bit for the virtual machine so we are then allowed to enable Hyper-V inside our virtual machine. Hyper-V is a hypervisor just like VMware. Now, why do we need Hyper-V? Well, that's why it's a little bit tricky to do this installation. We need Hyper-V because that's what the emulator uses to create that image, the program that looks like a phone, so we can test applications that we make. Of course, you can always run things directly on a device, but launching the emulator and testing an application there is a little bit faster, and therefore I would recommend that you have the emulator installed and working. And also, the emulator provides you different types of emulated images of Windows Phone devices. Everything from the low-end devices to the high-end devices, different screens, different hardware, and different memory constrictions. So, let's get started! Not so surprisingly, the very first thing we need to do is to go ahead and install VMware Player. VMware Player can be found on the VMware website. They have many products to choose between, but the only one we are interested in is the VMware Player, which is the one that is completely free. So go ahead and download it and just go with all the defaults when installing it and we'll resume from there. The next thing that we need to do is to create a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and do that. Inside VMware Player, after we have opened it, just go ahead and create a new virtual machine. As you can see, it has already found the path from the previous virtual machine that I created. Under Installer Disk Image, you can browse and find the path to the image file that you want to use. The image file will be the operating system that we want to run on the virtual machine. We're going to go ahead and click Next. And I'm going to ignore the Windows product key for now because I'm just going to go with the trial version of Windows. I'm going to click Next and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to click Next again. Now here you can set the maximum disk size and I'm just going to leave it at 60 gigabytes. You can also select whether or not to use a single file or multiple files. I usually go for a single file and I'm going to click Next. The first thing I want you to do here is to make sure that you uncheck this checkbox here so it doesn't power on the virtual machine as soon as we've created it because after we have created the virtual machine we want to add some configurations to the file. Now make sure that you select customize hardware here. On the memory I would recommend that you use at least 4 gigabytes. We want to make sure that we have enough memory to run Visual Studio and the emulator. On the processors, we're going to give this virtual machine a little bit more power and we're going to give it two processors. I am zooming in now because I want to show you something really important that you must not forget. You have to remember to enable virtualizing. So make sure that you check the second checkbox here and just leave the prefer mode to automatic. Now the rest I am just going to leave as is. And with that we can click finish and it will create the virtual machine for us and we can go ahead to the next step. After we have created our virtual machine we need to go ahead and add some configurations to the VMX file. This is the file for the virtual machine. The default path for the file will be under documents virtual machines and then the name of the virtual machine. You can either double click and open it with Notepad if you already have opened files like that with Notepad. Otherwise, right click, select Open Weight and select Notepad. Now this is a configuration file that I have already edited for a machine that is already running Windows 8. I didn't want you to have to watch me do the full installation. So let me show you what I've done that you need to add as well. If I scroll all the way down, I'm going to now highlight what you need to add as well. This bit here is going to allow us to enable Hyper-V inside the virtual machine. Without this, you will not be able to actually enable Hyper-V and therefore you will not be able to run the emulator. So make sure that you add it. Save the file and close the window. Now go back to your virtual machine and power it on. What we need to do now is to make sure that we actually enable Hyper-V inside the virtual machine. And the easiest way to do that is by selecting the Windows button 
and then just go ahead and start writing feature and you can see here turn windows features on or off select that and it should give you a few options as you can see here there is something called hyper-v and this is what we want to make sure is enabled so make sure it is enabled and restart the virtual machine after you have gone ahead and done all those steps, the very final step that you need to do is to install Visual Studio and the Windows Phone 8 SDK. If you wonder where to find Visual Studio, just go to visualstudio.com and select the Visual Studio version that you want to have. Make sure that you also download the Windows Phone 8 SDK. After you've done that, you should be able to start Visual Studio and run the emulator as I have done here. And basically, that's all you need to do to run the Windows Phone emulator inside the virtual machine.